All right, let's get her get her done here. Tell you what's going on here in a second. I'm still in four wheel drive. Probably take it out of four wheel drive. There we go. All right, guys, we're out on a ride. We've been out here for probably about an hour or so already, and the <clears throat> the trail. This trail I've been on before. This is actually the trail. If anybody remembers that my uh, ATV before I got a UTV, uh, the fuel pump went out. This is the this is the trail at the very peak of this mountain when we come down through this canyon. And we come up on the other side, that's where my fuel pump went out. And what started the cascading effect of getting a, a UTV, that's kind of what happened. So this trail is uh, magnitudes <laughs> worse today than I've ever seen it as far as difficulty goes. The rain, we've just had you know, a crazy amount of rain this year. As a matter of fact, I saw a statistic that we haven't had this much rain since uh, 1992 or something. It's the most rain we've had. And <clears throat> it's been years, I mean, many years since I was a kid that I've seen water in the washes here in the desert as on this trail, um, or any trail for that matter. It's been a long time. Um, and as we were coming in on this trail, there was water everywhere. And if anybody has one of these uh, Can-Am Maverick trails, or Can-Am Maverick Sport, probably even worse, uh, they do not, uh, you know, block the water very well at all. I mean, it is, uh, I mean, it just slinging water all over me, man. So. And I didn't bring any like rain gear or anything, you know. So I got a little, I got a little wet. My feet are wet, and uh, you know, my arm, my left arm is all wet. So yeah, and there's mud everywhere, all over this thing, and I hate that because you have to, you know, I have to break out the pressure washer and and uh, hose it down. I don't like to, you know, keep mud on it. If, if possible but you see the other side over there guys that's what we're going up all the way to the peak and uh, it's pretty insane on the other side and uh, this trail is brutal today I mean it is so bumpy that you can only go like the fastest I think I've, I've looked down and, and, and looked at the speedometer was seven miles an hour I mean we're just crawling because you can't go you can't go very fast at all as soon as you try and pick up any speed it's just rocks and boulders and it just like this i mean it's it's uh this is the trail is really bad um much worse than i've ever seen let's see here what are we going to do here just drop off or go to the right i'll go to the right And, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, boy, I'm glad I have the lift kit right there, boy, that was a big rock. Uh-oh, stuck in between them. Ooh, dog, man, this trail is rough. And my back, for those of you that have, uh, that are on the subscription plan <laughs> on uh, my videos here, um, is, is holding out, is holding out, but I can't, I gotta tell you, uh, I am nervous. I am nervous about it. If I'm being honest, I am really nervous because uh, when my back decides to bother me and go out, it just does it kind of suddenly, you know. Uh, you know, just something about moving the wrong way or, or uh, something like that. And, you know, the next thing you know, you've moved the wrong way and now you're in uh, a lot of pain. But, so far so good, I haven't had any problems, and uh, I haven't had any problems uh, at work. I do get a little sore towards the, uh, towards the end of the day, um, but, you know, by the next day, everything is, uh, you know, back to normal. Just uh, 
trying to continue to lose weight. That's what I'm doing. The doctor uh, thinks that my my eating muscle is uh, ah, got a little dirt in my eye. My my eating muscle is uh, uh, pulling down on my lower back and uh, causing me uh, you know lower lower back problems. He thinks that that's probably what's causing the issue and has prescribed a medication to help me lose weight and it's been working I mean uh, I've, I've only been taking it for two weeks and I have had uh, very very little uh, side effects everything has been pretty good uh, side effects wise I, and uh, it has worked I am definitely not eating as much as I used to for sure so it's been it's been working and I weigh myself every Saturday and today is Saturday and I went on a ride so I didn't weigh myself uh, this morning so uh, last time last week I was down seven pounds and uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that I'm probably down a little bit more now, but we'll see. Um, but this is crazy, guys. Look at this crap. There used to be, like, dirt in between all these rocks, and it was a lot smoother. I mean, even the main road coming into the trail had big old ruts, big old ruts in it. Oh man, I hope we don't get to a spot that we can't we can't do because this is going to be super off camber. Oh boy, what are we at? Thirty? No, not even quite thirty degrees yet. Uh, that was thirty degrees. That's not that's not horrible. But anytime this thing leans to the to the driver's side, man, I got to tell you, it definitely gets my attention way more than the other way okay so the engine braking is working can you guys hear the engine braking this thing has got really good engine braking cannot believe how bad this uh, trail has gotten man I just if we get to a spot that just is too gnarly man we must uh, just turn around and I'd hate to come back up this this would, uh, this probably wouldn't be uh, too fun. But believe it or not, I'm not a fella who likes uh, to go on like uh, really super difficult trails. Well, I used to. I mean, that, that used to be uh, exactly what I used to like to do, uh, you know, back in the day. But now that I'm older and apparently got, uh, newly newly found back issues uh, that is not what I'm trying to do it's just this trail uh, has gotten way worse but it is what it is I'm trying to make the uh, best of it here without <coughs> you know just calling it quits or whatever out here just going slow and trying to be careful but uh, yeah wonderful day temperature is uh, somewhere probably around 65 degrees or so and it's going to warm up uh, to a, a really nice temperature oh man if I didn't have that lift kit tell me if I if I didn't have that lift kit that I wouldn't have hit right there and uh, still uh, by the way really uh, really finding the removal removal of the rear sway bar to be extremely beneficial for me. So, I mean, all of this slow rock crawling kind of stuff is, I mean, that's where that's where it's exceptional. It really works well for this. And uh, I was going to try some uh, like higher speed stuff to see what the stability was like so I could kind of report back to you guys on that. 
but the main road that we came in on, like I was telling you, was so washed out. There was like big pieces of the road missing. So I couldn't, I couldn't go, uh, you know, very fast at all. I just kind of, I just, ooh, I don't know where the, what the right choice is here. I think right here ought to do us. Yeah, this thing's keeping, uh, keeping the tires on the ground much better than it used to. I used to get a tire, <coughs> a tire in the air a lot. Now it's now it's doing much better, keeping keeping the tires on the ground, which is, you know, makes you feel a lot better about things when you're going over crazy stuff. But the uh, the desert terrain out here, man, I've never seen it this green. Look how green everything is. I mean, everything's in bloom. My allergies are going crazy, but. Um, Look at everything is in bloom. The flowers are blooming. I mean, it's uh, it's incredibly beautiful out here right now. The the cactuses are all bright green. I mean, normally the desert is just not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of color. You know, just dry and you know, kind of bland looking. Of course, I I, I like that. I mean. I'm kind of a desert rat, I guess you could say. So that's my cup of tea. <clears throat> but I think for most part, you know, people that are from, uh, you know, places where it's more green would probably think the desert is not that pretty, but uh, right now it is. <clears throat> okay, I think that's the, uh, the end of the one side. Now we're gonna kind of uh, be leveling out here and then what happens next is the uh, climb to get up the other side over here, and then uh, and then back down to where the river's at, where the uh, Salt River is. No, it's the Gila River. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I always get those two mixed up. And uh, with all the rain, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that river is going to be pretty. Pretty, pretty full, pretty raging. We won't be crossing it today for sure. I doubt very seriously. Uh, look, dude, water. See, this is what I was talking about. Dude, it's been so many years since I've seen water in the river bottoms, man. And, and, and it's super exciting. I hope, I hope we continue to see that because it's just, it's just awesome. Oh yeah, see, that's where we just came down over there and uh, when my fuel pump went out the only way that the uh, that the ATV would run at all is if I had the throttle pegged so if you can imagine I think the video is still on my channel as a matter of fact but I had to keep the throttle pinned in order to keep it running it wouldn't run unless I just had you know, the throttle like wide open. So I would just kind of pump the throttle wide open. Every time it would try and die, I would just pump the throttle wide open. And that's how I had to get out of here the whole way. And there was a bunch of Jeeps in my way. So I was like doing crazy maneuvers to get around Jeeps because if I stopped, I was afraid I was never gonna get it started again. So I was just doing everything I could to like, you know, go crazily around, uh, around Jeeps and stuff. Yeah, it's all in the video, man. It's uh. You should watch it, it's pretty exciting. I don't think a lot of people watched it because uh, it was a while ago and that was before, you know, I had as many people watching my videos, so it's definitely worth watching. But look at this canyon over here to the right. Wouldn't that be awesome to fly a drone through there and get some footage? I need to get my drones back out. Oh man, that would be, that would be an amazing shot right there. I need to break them drones back out, man. I haven't, I haven't flown my drones in over a year. <clears throat> I just need to get those things back out. As a matter of fact, I don't even have the app on my, uh, on my devices right now. I've gotten uh, all new devices since the last time I've flown. So I'd have to like set it up from scratch. Oh boy, here we go, man. We're gonna need four wheel drive, here we go.